What's up guys, this is the Wolfman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up what happened last time, this army down here in Dutch Guiana fought off a combined attack by these uh, uh, Mughal Empire stacks. And they've started to reorganise their force into another stack to try to attack me, which is what I want. The more damage you can do to them, the easier it will be to capture these very, very profitable territories. And then apart from that, the other major thing is this army, which was my Berlin garrison, is winding its way down to Portugal, because Portugal is at war with me and they will not see their way to making peace. And as I have a, as I'm an allied with Spain, I can just walk straight through their territory, so I don't have to risk any naval actions around the, around the seas. Um, although I am um, at peace with Britain, I don't foresee that necessarily lasting, so what I'm planning on doing is building up my navy in response because I like to do a bit of you know trade, uh, trade node work as well, which I haven't done for for a long time. And then I've got down in the Middle East. My forces here in Jerusalem are still recruit or still replenishing um, from that capture, or well, they're not. And I've got no money. Um, but yes, the object will be to push on to Damascus, and then because we're also at war with Persia, so there's an opportunity for lots and lots of warfare to go on in the Middle East, and for maybe capture Georgia and maybe Dagestan depending on what the diplomacy is like um, but yes I need to thin out the um, Ottoman empires maybe land on Greece but I'd like to leave them let them have these territories to perform because I don't want to expand up here and capture them and open up another border with Austria because right now they are ripe to just attack me what I might check actually is Württemberg see they're allied with me Spain, Austria. So if they do declare war on us, this army could, or well, these armies could, at the drop of a hat, um, move and try to capture my territory. So I need to be very, very careful of that. Third, we need to keep Austria on on site. And we're currently mm, plus two, two, five, which is pretty good. And the only, thing they, the only thing they don't like me is dissolving treaties and naval expansion. Territorial expansion, sorry. And for this army down here, that's probably going to be the core of another army to send down to the Middle East. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. And I'd like to take um, take Persia, but not really expand into India yet. I'd like to capture Persia and hold it, and then um, land forces down here in Ceylon and then start doing raids against territories in, the, in the, on the mainland. But anyway, let's hit end turn, because I have no money, and that's the... Well, <laughs> I need to get money. Well, actually, firstly, research and tech. So I'm currently researching advanced chain shot, which I don't really need. Um, instead I'm going to go for lime juice to reduce the upkeep cost of my navy. As I don't really have a navy, and my income is kind of flat, I'd like to, uh... I'd like to, um, well I know 17,000 is a lot, I'd like to have much more than that. So, yeah, reducing navy upkeep is good, because well, how are my ministers looking? They look pretty good. Yeah, right, let's hit end turn. Then my agents are making their way into the Middle East. But yes, oh yeah, and I've also got to work on extricating those armies in North America away and probably deploy them to India. Um, because while I do have... <coughs> while I do have... Um, I don't, do I have many enemies in the Americas? So people have suggested that I push on and attack Britain while they're weak. Um, but what I want to do for this campaign is make it a bit more interesting and instead I want to um, send troops to to India to get the resources there to knock out the British holdings in that region and I want to leave the Americas to, to try to allow the um, United States to form I think that could be quite fun because the only campaign I think I've got them in is do they exist in Russia? oh how cute their feeble and meagre empires declared war on me. And no one's backed them up. Such as the Mughals, the Ottomans, Prussians, Persians, Portuguese. So no real difference. It looks like they've lost Königsberg as well. So they're incredibly getting squished between a rock and a hard place. <clears throat> but that's good. I'm not going to bother pushing into Gdansk. I might beef up my Berlin garrison just a bit more. To, get, to kind of lay the foundation for them to spring out to become a, um, a an actual army if the opportunity arises. 
what I'd like to do is get my, my burgeoning navy of fourth rates, recruit some Indiamen, and then send them out to the trade theatres. Like I've said before about how I know in Darth Mod any ship can be a trade ship, um, <clears throat> but to me it feels more um, fluffy, I suppose, for a fleet to include some sort of trade ships or privateers or flutes or galleons, you know, something which is more tradey. Fortunately, the Louisianans are actually are actually doing something sort of useful with their navy. Well, they're blockading the fleets down to the south. Ah, so we'll be sallying out to meet them. Because I don't want to sit there under siege for too long. Mm. I'm on Coke Zero Raspberry today. Oh no, the Genoese! There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here... Oh, nuts, 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 nuts. Well, boys, looks like I might be going to war with Genoa. So... Hmm... No. As frustrating as it is, that they will probably capture this region. Um... At least this one is not the super valuable one. Average yield, gold mine, low yield spices compared to abundant yield of sugar. Low, low, low yield of lumber, but it doesn't really matter. Abundant yield of gold mine and high yield of gems. This is definitely the one to keep. So I'm going to let them replenish. And I'm not going to build a... I'm not going to build walls there just yet. As much as I'd like to, I want to beef up the economics of my French territories a bit. I don't need to worry about a boardy house just yet. The unhappiness hasn't got to them too much. Oh, that's a great arsenal I can build. Okay. Okay, so let's just do some solid economics investing in Europe. Because I haven't done that in a while, seemingly. Or at least until... At least since a whole no, new load of techs have become available. And then let's do church goal. Let's keep slowly cranking down this religious unrest. Good. Egypt's got cotton, which is join the market. <clears throat> let's spend the rest of my money replenishing you guys, as much as you can anyway. Then let's fight this battle. Because they did give me a garrison mortar, nicely. They have one set of guns and a bunch of chaff, so let's fight. Wait, because I only could I could only withstand a siege for one turn. But it, but the the fact that I have that land border with does mean that I want to build a set of walls, and I want to build a reasonable garrison because their natural <clears throat> jumping off point is to then further attack me in the in the Americas and Anna, So I'd rather not let them have it. In case it's deploy my mortars up. Deploying my artilleries out on the flanks. A lot of artillery. Hmm. Do quite like over here. Um. Let's deploy the houses a bit more central with the mortars. And let's build a great line of infantry. Not well, too many. Not too far. It's still a bit too far, but it doesn't matter. The firepower will win out. And let's get these guys up on the right flank. Cavalry towards the centre, because I don't know where they're going to focus. Massive line of pikes behind my artillery. might do is pull these guys back let 
let's have these guys pick at Hindu warriors. You are levy. Move these guys up. Hmm. Oh, by the looks of it, their gunners are returning. But not to ban their guns, they've all been destroyed. Perfect. Stretch my lines out thin. They're not so great for fire by rank, but what they good are good for is shooting at cavalry because that front rank is now huge. limber them up. Oh no, I can't. I can't surrender this flank because my artillery is too exposed. French infantry. Oh god, native bows. I hate native bows. Fortunately, they also hate my muskets. Pretty much use round shot to hit their general's bodyguard. Engage the pikes. Charge in the cavalry. Get everyone stuck in. A mighty clash, which is only going to go one way because I've got my absolute killer pikes in the vault. Write them down! Do not let them recover!
<coughs> Where is that general speaking of? Fleeing under severe artillery fire. Run them down, everyone. Don't fear. Keep on. You, you glorious gunners who stand by your weapons. Hmm, can't even control you anymore. His pikes are mildly concerning. These guys should be racking up the kills. Absolute rout. What I need to keep doing to protect my other unit of infantry is to keep moving up my line <clears throat> until eventually I can get some fire onto this unit of pikemen. Because the 45th Regiment of Foot will not be able to put up with such fire for too long. The main thing is, though, I don't want to completely annihilate them. Because I'd like them to rout towards the Genoese and to garrison the fort and for the Genoese to not win. But at the same time, it's difficult to not mop up a big unit of militia like that. You guys may be powerful units, but there's still a lot of us. Smashing. This should be it. Yep, this unit came back, but they've routed under artillery fire. Yeah, let's end it. Don't want to win too much. Run back to the city, garrison it, and then not beat the Genoese back. Well, that's a pity. Still, I have held the territory. Cool New York fortress has been built. Good. So let's take you guys less a unit of cavalry infantry sorry but I think I only need six units to garrison a level one fort I think I'll recruit some local things here if we need to because there are a lot of marines Well, no recruitment. Cool, right. Good. Next level of iron ironworks. Immediate forces on its way. Hmm. Just stay busy looking east. 
hopefully declare war on Russia. I don't mind if you want to expand into Russia. That would be perfect. Just keep going east. Send the bulk of your armies east or south. Mm -mm, don't get too confident. They're trying to counter-convert, which is fine. I'll send my rake in Berlin to go and kill that priest. Oh, the Ottomans have finally rallied up another army. Did I give Jerusalem walls? If not, maybe I should. Hmm. Trying to cross the river. Oh, another gentleman. But yes, they've seen. See, they do have. They have got. Russia's got um, top tier roads, which makes a lot of sense for Russia. Um, makes a lot of sense for everyone, but especially Russia. Come on, Sweden. Push down into Native American territory. Expand your empires, just not towards me. Cherokee have got lots of land to take, and you do share a board with them. Oh god, why are you coming towards me when the Genoans are about to yeah, go on auto resolve, go back. Good on them, good Genoese protecting my ports for me. Did they capture it? They did. And they're moving in to finish them off. Good, I'll let them do just that. <coughs> right. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port. Okay, so let's go to France. So what I also want to do is Oh, I cannot build India Moon. It's not even my port. Um, well, that's unfortunate. In which case, then, let's make some privateers. They fit the bill. Well, no, because they're pirates. Brigs, I suppose. That's well, a brig of war. I don't necessarily want to spend the money on a brig of war. So these will be my trade ships. Backed up by... Oh, oh damn. I thought it was an actual just a galleon. Yeah, I think I'll pick brigs. It feels like you can load up. It's a reasonable amount of goods into a brig. Give you all an upgrade. Let's recruit a admiral. Good. So in a few turns, that'll be my first ship, my first uh, fleet to go sailing across the world to secure spices. Good. You keep moseying on towards Lisbon. Ooh, if you make it within one, two turns, I'll make it there just in, just before they get improved settlement fortifications. Lovely jubbly. Right. Trait gained. Hmm. Good. So you replenish. Can I move these guys out yet? Let's make a military governor's barracks. If I move you out. Yep, you do hate it. So you need to stay. Good, good, good. 
Good. I want to go let the Genoans run, run around capturing territories. And the next turn I'll build walls down here as a protection measure. Cool, right, end turn. I also forgot to build walls in, uh, in the Middle East. Should have a pen really in writing these down to make sure I remember them. It's Austria. Austria, you just gone moseying. Ap, the priest. This turn I'll get him. This turn. I don't. What are you doing? See, now this is the AI, and part of me is thinking they are gunning for a stab in the back. Which, if they do, ultimately all of my Middle East adventures, all of my American adventures, they all go on hold. Um, all those armies come back to Europe to destroy the Austrians, because haven't really got much choice. Aha! They've decided to attack me with their poor artillery. Well, that thing is pretty cool, actually. But yes, looking at the timer, I think I'm going to make that uh, the next part, because otherwise I'll overrun by quite a lot. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.